bitch. Really? Hi my loves and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, as you can definitely tell by the title, I am going to be doing a Fenty Beauty by Rihanna review, first impressions, wear test. I am so, so, so excited to try this stuff. It's been sitting on my count on my vanity table for like two or three days now because I was waiting for the highlighter to come in and it just came earlier today. So I'm like, I'm rushing because the baby is asleep and I know she's gonna wake up soon, so I gotta get this video filmed. So before we get into the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and let's get started. Alright, so if you don't know, Rihanna came out with a beauty line and I'm pretty sure everybody knows this because it's been all the way on YouTube, Instagram, everybody's been talking about it and I just knew when I saw Rihanna was releasing this, I knew I was gonna get it. I'm not a big fan of like the celebrity lines, like I do like um, Kylie stuff. Um, I haven't tried any of Kim's stuff. It hasn't really been appealing to me at all, so I'm not buying it because for me it's just overpriced and I feel like Kim don't even know what she's doing. She's just doing it because she wants to ride on Kylie's coattails, but that's just my opinion. So uh, Rihanna released this line and it is totally inclusive for everyone. She released 40 shades of foundation. Normally a brand does not release these many colors of foundation. They were released probably like... 10 light shades and then one deep shade that they feel like is universal for every dark color. There are brands still to this day that don't even cater to dark women like Physicians Formulas and CVS and everything that they had is catered to lighter skinned people. So for a newer brand to come out with 40 shades of foundation and literally everything can be worn by everyone is very, very amazing. So everything from her line, well, as far as her complexion products are made for like combo oily skin. So I did pick up the foundation, which I'm so hyped to try. So I went to my local Sephora inside JCPenney. And uh, by the way, they did release everything from Rihanna's lines in every Sephora. So every Sephora has a gondola with Fenty Beauty. But anyway, I went to my local Sephora inside JCPenney uh, the other day and looked at the gondola. And I got a sample of the primer because I'm so picky with primer. So I wanted to sample it out to see how I like it before actually buying it. So I got a sample of the primer. And I got the foundation, but I got it in 430. And I was hearing things that it oxidizes or gets darker. So I wanted to be sure and this one doesn't look a little orange so I got a sample of the shade 420 so I do want to try that out today I also definitely had to get the lip gloss yeah I know um, I only wear gloss anyway so I definitely had to get this because I just knew I was gonna love it and of course the baby everybody knows trophy wife I had to get trophy wife like Oh my god, it is literally a true yellow gold. I swatched it in the Sephora and JCPenney and I'm just like blown away about how beautiful this is. So I cannot wait to put this stuff all over my face today. I have been dying. I am like, oh my gosh, I just can't wait. So let's go ahead and get started. So like I said, I did get the primer and a sample at Sephora the other day. So it is for combo to oily skin, but like I said, I'm so picky with primers and I really don't spend money on primers. I have my backups that I use consistently, which is my Bare Minerals and uh, my Hourglass uh, um, primer. So I do want to try this. Everybody said um, well, Rihanna's line said this is for matte to oily skin and it's supposed to blur pores. So let's see. So off the bat, it does feel like a foundation. So, for, I mean, not a foundation, a moisturizer. So for it to be for oily to matte skin, this is a different texture, I would say. So let me just keep rubbing it in. Definitely going to focus it more on my t-zone but it does feel a little bit sticky almost like a little bit tacky like you definitely have a good base that the foundation is going to stick to so these little samples literally give you probably like up to three maybe four times to try so it is a good way to sample things in sephora because it definitely gives you a while to actually see if you like it and want to purchase it so this is gonna be good for me to try it out to see because I am about to be doing a little Sephora haul soon. I can't wait for that. 
all right so now for the foundation like I said I got the shade of 430 and I love the pump it is a glass bottle it feels very like fancy luxurious so I got 430 I'm gonna do a slight pump on the back of my hand not too much because the bitch is not wasting no product so this is 430 it is pretty red pretty orange so that is a little oompa loompa, but not bad. I could definitely work with it if it is really orange. And then this is the shade 420, which I did get a sample of. So that's 420 on top and 430 on the bottom. I'm definitely probably going to go for 430 because I feel like I can get away with it with my concealer and powder and stuff. So I am going to do 430 and it looks like it's drying super matte. So... That's really nice because I love a matte foundation and this is matte. It is supposed to be demi matte like a satin finish and it's medium to full coverage so you can build on it. So we got our primer laid and now I'm going to, I do like three pumps on the back of my hand and I'm going to put it on my face. So one side I'm going to try with my Marc Jacobs brush and the other side I am going to do with my beauty blender. Just to see the coverage, Rihanna did come out with a sponge, but um, at my local Sephora it was sold out. I was going to pick it up because I kind of want to see it in person and see what it looks like. So um, it was sold out there, but um, I'm going to see how I like it. Normally I like foundations, how they go on with a brush better, so we'll see. So... It's a pretty good match. On camera, I see it looks really orange, but really in the mirror, it doesn't look orange at all. Um, it looks pretty nice. The coverage is okay. You know, you still can see my blemishes. It really does look like skin, though. So, I think I'm going to definitely add another layer. And it is very, very matte on the skin. Like, super matte. This dried is so matte. So, I'm going to go in with a little bit more on my brush. Because, you know, I like full coverage and I like to keep it, cake it on, girl. So, this is actually really, really pretty. Like I said, it does look orange on camera, but it looks so pretty. You don't really, you don't see that orange really at all now on skin now that it's dry. But it looks so good. So, now I have a little bit left on my thing. So, I'm just going to use uh, my beauty blender for this side. And I'm probably going to add another pump, but let me blend this out first. So it does blend very like smoothly and effortlessly with both the brush and the beauty blender. So I'm going to add another pump. Alright and that is uh, like a, a pump and a half of the beauty blender. And it looks pretty nice. Like I like it with both. I am going to go in with one more pump. Just so I had a little bit of my blemishes. I feel like I can blend it up, build it up more easily with the brush. I feel like the Beauty Blender is absorbing some of the product. So, it's not bad. It covers up really nice with both. Alright, so this is the foundation. This is the side with the brush. And this is the side with the Beauty Blender. So, I would say on the Beauty Blender side, it doesn't look a little bit more orange. This side, it looks a little bit more neutral, a little bit more cool now that it's on. But, other than that, it is really pretty. Like, it looks so smooth and actually very, like, satiny. So, yeah, I really, really like it. So, now I'm going to apply my concealer, powder, all of that good stuff. Because I didn't get the concealer from the line or the contour sticks or any blushes or anything like that. So, I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys. So, the rest of my face is done. Everything I use will be listed in the description box below. So, let's get on to the fun part, which is highlight. I did pick up Trophy Wife, like I said in the beginning. You guys tell me how beautiful that is and it's so smooth oh my gosh I still have foundation on the back of my hand so oh my god I don't think my camera is picking up my little sad swatch but oh beautiful 
So I am about to get my brush and I'm about to just cover my face. So I'm using a Morphe M501 brush. I really love this brush. I'm going to tap it off because I know how yellow gold this is and I don't want to be looking crazy. Bitch. Really? Oh my gosh. And I literally tapped off the brush a couple of times. Oh my god, that is so pretty. Like, but it's like a lot of reflex, a lot of oh my god, yeah, that is so pretty. I wasn't expecting it to look this pretty on me. I wasn't expecting it to look like that, but girl. Yes, Rihanna. So I'm gonna tap off more on this brush to see on this side. So you can definitely sheer it out. It doesn't have to go on super intense. I'm gonna go on a little bit more because I did tap it off a lot on this side. Y'all. How gorgeous. And my skin, like, let's just talk about how flawless my skin looks. So, so, so stinking pretty. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Look, this is stunning. Like, stunning. Put some on my cupid's bow, bitch. On my nose, bitch. Like everywhere. Put some under my brow so I can just be glistening. Glistening. Oh my god, I'm gonna stop before I do too much. And I'm gonna move on to the gloss, which I am so excited about. So uh, this is Infinity Glow. This is the only gloss she released from her collection right now hopefully she come out with more shades because I have a feeling I'm gonna love this from her campaigns the gloss just look so shiny so popping like I just knew I had to have it I wanted this way before I wanted the foundation I knew I was gonna get this like this was a given so let's go ahead and put it on oh my god so first this wand is like amazing it's like super big and looks super nice and fluffy so let's see oh wow it's so smooth and it smells like it smells like that zebra gum I don't know if y'all remember that from kids like the zebra gum in a pack it's so glossy oh my god this is so pretty I love this gloss so yes you guys I am done with the stuff that I bought I love the gloss everything so far I'm loving and obsessing over my skin looks good the orange the foundation doesn't look orange at all like it looks so bomb this is like the perfect color for me I'm so happy because I was gonna get 440 and then my mom was like girl that's too dark get 430 so look this looks so good on and it is now 340 347 bitch 347 and well 348 but I will be back during the day to show you guys I don't know if I'm going anywhere but if I am I'm about to be stunting like stunting for real but I'm gonna be back and I'm gonna show you guys how everything wears and how everything feels so the lip gloss off bat let me get this in feels very smooth it doesn't feel sticky at all and it just feels like good it feels so good I love this it feels super hydrated I have some dry lips so let's see how this works hey loves so, so I'm back and it is now 9 19 9 20 and yeah this is how the foundation looks. I have to say I'm pretty pretty happy with how it has held up normally by this time I'm like scratching my eyeballs out like ready to take all my makeup off but I was really chilling um I didn't have any transfer issues so it didn't go anywhere you guys know I always test that because I do have a daughter so um you know her hands and she's just crazy she's like all over the place so a lot of the times my makeup gets on her that's why I don't wear makeup really every day well at all so this time I had no issues whatsoever no transfer issues it looks beautiful and normally by this time also I'm like a oily mess and I do have like oils peeking through of course in my t-zone area but nothing that's crazy at all nothing I can't deal with this is like perfect for me I love how this looks the way it looks on my skin is just so beautiful and of course my highlight is hell went up bitch like do you see that i'm still gloating like gloating girl i'm there it's still in my inner corner it's like literally still my cubes bow and i eat cereal and everything and it's still there so the only thing that did wear off of course is the lip gloss which i'm not expecting for it to last a long time because it's a lip gloss and like i said i was eating cereal and things like that so i knew that the lip gloss was going to come off either way i still love the lip gloss it is like beautiful 
um what else I took some pictures and there's no flashback with this and I love it another thing I wanted to mention is that it doesn't feel heavy on the skin at all it didn't feel tight to me and I know that some people I was watching videos today and some people were saying that it felt a little tight on their skin it didn't feel tight to me at all I'm guessing that if you are oily skin just make sure you still moisturizing your skin and you know what I'm saying not just putting the primer and everything on top of it because I do moisturize and I do put an oil you on my skin um even though I am combo combination oily but more on the oily side I still moisturize heavily to keep my skin nice and hydrated and it still looks good so I don't know if I recommend this for dry skin and not even dry to combo because I feel like first putting it on any dry patches you might have on your skin is gonna like really show up in this foundation and I don't know if you want that you might not like it because of that and it may give off a little bit of a cakey look so I would just say be aware of it if you have dry to combo skin then go get a sample first and then test it out for the day to see how you like it and see how it reacts to your skin if you have any dry patches those sort of things so overall you guys I give Fenty Beauty a big 10 two thumbs up from me like I love it I definitely want to buy the other things from the line I think I'm gonna do that next time like the concealer the colorful highlight sticks the contour sticks I am gonna the powder I do want to try that so I'm gonna buy some more things and probably like come back and do another video on the rest of the products because I do want to see how those perform because these so far perform great and I'm like obsessed I love it these are gonna be like my go-to I'm gonna store this on the top of my vanity like super cute it's not gonna go anywhere because I'm gonna be using it every time I put on makeup so yeah my loves that is it for this video please give it a big thumbs up it really helps me out a lot let me know any video requests any things you guys want to see leave them down below for me again everything that I used on my face will be in the description box below again I give this video a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't and I will see you all in my next video very soon bye